What is up, players? It's War Boss Tay up in this mug. Wanted to give you a little bit of Monday morning motivation. And uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about achieving the Zen mode, the frame of mind that all of us miniature painters are trying to achieve, and uh, also how to keep positive and motivated in this crazy year that we find ourselves in. So first things first, this model is the fourth model that I painted up for my squad of corn blood warriors. And uh, I was uh, working on him when I realized, holy cow, it's only been like seven minutes. I think I timed this one and uh, it came out to a little over seven minutes to get from base coats to shades. And I thought that was really wild because I was really just thinking, get this guy done as soon as possible so I can get to the next one. And I wasn't thinking about individual armor plates. I wasn't thinking about the way I was going to paint the spikes or the uh, iron fist that he's holding, the stabby fist. And uh, all I was thinking was gold, silver, black boots, brown handles for his axe. And when my mind was given the freedom to just work automatically, work step by step, and not think about individual pieces of the model, I used less brush strokes. I was able to put the paint on faster and I was not stressing out. I wasn't thinking about every single part of a uh, portion or part of the model that I was painting. So after getting to this point and realizing I had uh, painted him so quickly, and that I can get a model painted this quickly, I thought, well, how long is it going to take to get to a finished high tabletop standard, which is what we're going to see in the next picture. But before we leave this guy, I wanted to say that getting to this point is not too hard at all. And if you're just a gamer, you really want to just put some models on the tabletop, but you don't want to be laughed out of the out of the club by the other uh, gamers, then you want your model to look pretty good and to look presentable. It doesn't have to be a lot of detail work, it doesn't have to have a lot of highlighting, but you do want to have models that you can be proud to just put on a table. So I'm going to be making my tutorials, like I've said when I did the uh, Relictors model in two stages. That one is the first one, which is the tabletop standard, and this is the high tabletop standard. So this guy took me about 40 minutes because I was doing uh, two extra steps of highlighting and then the details such as the uh, turquoise in the armor and uh, the putting some astro granite on the base. So I think 40, 40 minutes plus uh, seven minutes, if you can achieve that, that Zen mode of painting is really pretty good if you want to get a high tabletop standard army on the, model, uh, on the tabletop. And so like I said, the way I achieved this was this was the fourth guy that I had painted. That means that I had already churned through three more where I did take a little bit more time, but I realized when I got to this model, I had painted him up so quickly because I was using less brush strokes. I was putting the paint on the model more efficiently. I mean, that's, that's the end goal, right? You don't want to stop to go back and fix your mistakes because that takes time and that puts obstacles in your path from getting from point A to point B. Basically, painting a model is taking an unpainted model, point A, and getting him up to the standard that you want him to be at, point B, in as little time as possible. And we do that by taking less time to fix mistakes, hopefully no time, because every time you move forward, you're adding more paints, you're uh, adding an additional effect to the colors that you want to show off. And uh, you're not going back and stressing out over, oh shoot, I got some gold on the red part. Or, oh shoot, I got, you know, some silver uh, where it's not supposed to be. And when you train your mind to think, okay, all I'm going to worry about in this step of the model, painting the model, is the gold trim on his armor. That's all I'm going to worry about. If I get any on the red, that's fine, I'll go back, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to only focus on the gold. And then you churn through it you're going to realize you take less paint strokes because you're not worried about getting the gold on the red if you do so what you can go back and fix it and that uh, frame of mind will give your brain your conscious and your unconscious brain the freedom to let go of the stress and the worry and the uh, trepidation 
that you might feel if you're painting a model, especially one that has a lot of bits. And many models that Games Workshop or a lot of companies that are producing now, they have a lot of finicky bits. So we sometimes fool our brains into thinking, oh, there's too much detail on this model. There's too much for me to think about when I'm painting it. There's too many textures. There's too many surfaces where I'm going to have to think of different colors. Just free your mind from thinking all of that by releasing all of that stress and only focusing on the color that you're working on right now. If you make a mistake, I know a lot of us, we're pretty uh, detail-oriented. We, we don't like seeing that mistake as we're going on, but you have to tell your brain it's okay. I gotta get from point A to point B, and going back to fix a mistake is time out of painting. And every chunk of time you take to fix a mistake that you could be using to move forward in the process means that it's gonna take you longer to get finished. And I think we can translate that to our regu life, regular life as well, right? We focus so much on the uh, negatives or the things that are holding us back. We're not focusing on progressing to where we want to be to be successful. And a lot of that stress can be taken away by putting a lot of things that you do onto a more uh, automatic mode. So not saying that I want you to not think and not be present. We should always be present with what we're doing. But I don't think we need to be focused so intently on the things that are costing us time and energy in our lives. And uh, that's my motivational message for today. Like be always present in the moment, but always be moving from point A to point B. Whether that's painting base coats like gold trim on your models or whether it's... Uh, doing yard work or laundry or washing dishes or housework or taking care of the kids anything in your life that is a chore or takes time and energy that you wish you could be devoting to video games or hobbying or just doing things that you enjoy put yourself on that automatic zen mode where you are doing it you're present you're aware but your mind is letting go of the stress and the tax that the uh, the events that you're doing, the, the tasks that you're doing is going to be putting on you. I hope that helped you guys. It's a little bit of a Monday morning motivational message. Just wanted to help you all out if you're uh, stressing out. And uh, it is a stressful time. On top of everything else in the year, it's Christmas time. And we're all Christmas shopping and uh, thinking about our, our friends and loved ones and our relatives and all of that. So... Uh, stay tuned because the Loon Boss on Giant Cave Squig tutorial should be coming out pretty soon. I'm uh, painting and recording and also doing a fast forward tutorial for people who want to just get from point A to point B without watching me actually apply the paint. It's an interesting new thing I'm trying out. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment before you go so it'll share... Uh, YouTube will share my video with more people who might be interested in it. And uh, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. Laters, players!